Welcome to my quarantine room. As you can see, this is my space that I'm going to be in for seven days. I got locked out because you can only use your card, key card once, um, and I got locked out. Anyway, it's not important. This is my little suite. It's a very nice, cozy room. I've got a really nice view in the morning, and it's just really spacious. I can do all my exercise here. As you can see, I'm dressed and ready for the day. Got a work top. Um, and I've also got a shower. It's got a very strong shower head, rain shower, um, and some really nice shower gels. Little things, right? I mean, when you're quarantining, you really need nice things to make you happy, like nice food, nice coffee. And here they've got their own coffee machine. It's great. So, in the hotel, you've got cup noodles and some snacks that are available to you. And in the mini fridge, you've actually got Hong Kong draft beer, really good, some juice, some milk for your tea, um, and you've also got cutlery, mugs, cups, bowls, everything that you need. And then at the bottom drawer, you actually have toilet paper, extra toilet paper, more toilet paper, and bags, bin bags. That's most important because you're in here for seven days. Nobody's gonna clear up your trash. You just gotta leave outside where you dump all your crazy trash um, on the floor. And, and also your obviously finished food. Um, the food here, by the way, is amazing. So every morning at eight o'clock, they start delivering their food. They basically ring your doorbell after they've put your food outside the door. Everybody then collects their food outside. There's a little tray there and they put the food very well sealed um, and the containers are very well sealed and the food is piping hot. So it's actually really good food. I've chosen the uh, Eastern um, food because I've been away for so long. It's been four years since I've been back. So you can choose Eastern, Western, or go green. They actually have their own kettle, but I brought my own kettle because I'm weird like that and I'm a little bit of OCD. If it's too dirty, if it doesn't work, if people's boiled their, I don't know what, in the kettle, in the hotel's kettle, then I'm gonna psychologically not feel great. So I brought my own kettle. Um, aside from being weird, uh, I also brought my own coffee making AeroPress that my friend bought me um, during lockdown and it's actually really useful if you go camping or if you go to Hong Kong and you've got to quarantine. This is a really good tool to make your own coffee um, and it's just great, handy. And I had some coffee beans, I had a kettle and I brought it on the plane. I wonder what the immigration officer were thinking when they were doing security checks. hotel room is very well equipped if you are feeling a little bit homesick you want to be hugged you've got a bathrobe and it's so comfy uh, and yeah you can just lounge and watch TV like that um, so yeah I've got fluffy slippers everything is just very fully equipped if you've got any problems you can just ring the service um, and it's a one button service so you just call them and tell them what you need and then they can help you it's meant to be a lovely staycation before you go out and actually have fun and you've got to do these rapid antigen tests that you just got to test um, and and just to tell the government and the health department that you are a-okay every day just a lateral flow um, and then on the fifth day somebody's gonna knock on your door and do a PCR test oh, and just to check that you're okay to go um, on the ninth and the twelfth day you've actually got to go to a community testing center and then test yourself but that should be fine if you, you manage to do all the tests and prove that you're okay um, so yeah it's been a lovely experience um, for, for now AC is brilliant but also it's making a lot of noise so nitpicking now are we I also forgot to say that the workstation is so lovely um, because it faced the jungle city. It's just a lovely space to work. So I've actually been quite productive doing my own thing, doing work stuff. Um, and it's yeah, I've got great flow here. So find your flow. This is quite a good time to be productive because it's undisturbed and you get to do everything that you have to do. As you can see, this yoga mat over here is obviously for people to do yoga, but I love 
jumping rope. So I bought my own skipping rope. You can do lots of intense exercise. It's always a great way to keep yourself active, um, to have a, you know, to have a routine. To do your weight training, you can always just grab anything um, near you and do some weight training, do some body weight training as well, do some squats. Um, but having a, a rope is definitely the best thing I've ever purchased because you can take it anywhere as long as you've got a good floor or yoga mat. Very good aerobic exercise. Keep your heart rate up and also in a week like this, it's good for you. You've got to move and stop being inactive. That's for now. Bye. Ooh, and after a workout, wait for your next meal where they ring the bell again. They basically deliver it and then they ring the doorbells. I don't know if they deliver it and then they go, they run along the corridor and ring everybody's doorbell because you can never see the people delivering the food when you look down the corridor but maybe they just run really quickly and you can also have your friends deliver um, your food friends or family and mum was actually here yesterday and she delivered some really delicious local bakery egg tarts um, and it's just lovely to have somebody deliver something um, that you really want because you're in the city but you're not really tasting the food yet, but I'm lucky enough that our hotel actually does really nice local food. But if you don't, then you better have some lovely friends and family deliver you something. Yeah, this is a lovely day, and you kind of just repeat what you do for seven days and then you wait to leave. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and see you when I'm out, out of here. Woohoo! Bye!